Hi, I just thought I'd do a quick video about hotspot texturing, which is something you might know about from Source 2 or the Half-Life Alex SDK. You can do it in UE5 using a plugin called Mesh Tool, which is on the marketplace, or it's also on Itch.io. You can do some pretty cool stuff with that and the Cube Grid tool in the UE5 modeling tools. So this is what a hotspot texture looks like. It's basically just a normal texture, but it's sort of, it's a trim sheet. It's made up of a bunch of different rectangles. And if you've got Mesh Tool installed, you can right click on a texture, go to Trim Sheet Actions and create Trim Sheet and you'll get an asset that looks like this. So you've got to drag out these boxes yourself, but I'll clear this one, delete all the boxes just to show you. If you go to draw a box, you can literally just set your grid size to make this easier and drag out a bunch of boxes representing your trim sheet. And Mesh Tool is going to use these to basically just pretty much automatically UV your mesh, which is great for level design. If you want to get back to the days when level designers would also ship the art which you do, right? Once that's done, you gotta map these trim sheet assets to the textures that they represent using a data table. Mine's just called new data table. And you gotta make sure that this uses the row type MT trip sh trim sheet mapping row. So I've got three here. They're all from Half-Life Alex. I just stole them. Open mesh tool, select a face, assign material. So you can see what's happening here. And if I hit hotspot selected, it's just picked the most fitting square of the ones I selected for the face that we're on. Now, that's not too impressive when you're just looking at something like that. So let's jump into the modeling tools in UE5. And remember, you have to enable these from the plugins menu, just like mesh tool. So go to modeling, find cube grid, which is on the poly model, and you can just drag out. I'm not gonna give you a cube grid tutorial, but this is a really nice set of tools for rapidly making block outs, or you, know, you could build a whole level like this. It's not you know, a way to do super complex uh, modeling, but mesh tool kind of is, so you can combine these. They're both, this isn't making BSP or anything, this is just uh, just a typical mesh, but it is a pretty well optimized mesh. It's not, um, you know, it's a, it's a way to do modeling without having to think about faces and verts and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just gonna make sort of a, a typical sort of blocky uh, bit of world. I'll just, you know, I'll let's, uh, shrink this grid down and show you that I can pull out smaller parts. This is, you know, sort of the kind of geometry that's a hassle to make and, and used to be real easy. And with cube grid, it's kind of easy again. I'm a big fan of cube grid. Now I've made this, I'll go complete and I'll go back to mesh tool. Assign my brick wall material. As you can see, that's terrible. It's just automatic UVs. But if I hotspot, it didn't work everywhere, but this is pretty good. Look at this. So as you can see, it's chosen the thin rectangle uh, for this and, and a thinner one here. The only thing that hasn't really panned out is the floor here. And you end up with a pretty good result for something that you literally didn't do. So you don't have to use cube grid for this. Mesh tool itself actually has some pretty good stuff built in. We've got vert snap, we've got hold shift and drag to extrude. can select verts on the top there and then convert that selection to an edge. Drag that up again. And I can now hotspot this too. And if I drag a different material on there that's also got hotspot UVs, I can go back in the mesh tool, hotspot it again. And we get a different result. So basically, I thought you should know that cube grid is a pretty good level design tool and Mesh Tool is a pretty good tool for UVing the stuff you make in Cube Grid. You can see how this stuff could end up pretty bloody useful if you're trying to make some levels. Here is some other crap I've thrown together using Mesh Tool and Hotspotting. This one uses a texture pack by Ben Hale, Macon on Twitter, Macon Art. Real good stuff. See you next time. Oh, and if you're wondering about my UE5 theme, yeah, it's supposed to look like Steam. I made it. If you go to edit, edit preferences, there is actually a theme editor in here. So uh, go nuts. I'll post the JSON in the description.